So, folks at Epic Games have just announced that with the release of Unreal Engine 5.6, MetaHuman Character Creator and MetaHuman Character Assets are totally free for anyone to pick up, use and create amazing looking characters that can be deployed anywhere outside Unreal Engine. And this was a bottleneck previously and it is now interesting to see that you can now pick up Unreal Engine, create the character that you want, export that to Blender, Maya, Houdini and render right there. And this has eliminated the whole licensing feature that was actually the bottleneck behind users choosing not to use this tool and with unreal engine 5.6 announced of course this comes with a ton of features which are currently making a video about but specifically epic games meta human also comes with some very impressive features that were not in the beta when we did demo it and today we're going to go through all of the stuff that you need to know and all of the cool features that this comes back with so to get started first things you need to do is go to epic games where you can download the unreal engine launcher once you've got that downloaded you need to install unreal engine 5.6 click on the drop down menu near the launcher button and you can simply select options and make sure that you've got the metahuman stuff turned on and once you have it turned on click on apply to install the metahuman core data files if this validates does all of its thing and you can simply launch unreal engine and start exploring the brand new metahuman and all of the nice cool new features that are now available with it and for those who haven't seen unreal engine 5.6 this is basically what the user interface looks like this has had a huge facelift and it looks pretty cool so first things first for you to get started all you need to do is go over to edit go over to plugins and you need to search for the word metahuman make sure you select every single thing that has to do with metahuman and then restart it and once you restart it make sure you confirm that everything that has to do with metahuman is there and you can definitely start working with it from here so for you to get started if you simply right click go over to where you've got metahuman and you can create your metahuman characters and with that you can now go in double click the metahuman stuff and this is going to open up a whole new window now once it's opened up the window the texture gets loaded and you can now start creating your metahuman so first things first within the head section you can actually access the blend and from there you can throw in different assets that you use to blend the head in the previous demos this wasn't there but it's quite interesting to see that with the final release of unreal engine 5.6 you now have that option. So with the head blend, you can simply select any of the nodes and you can simply blend them how you like, which is similar to what you've got with the browser-based version of the MetaHuman Creator. Interestingly, you can also turn off symmetry if you want. So for example, if we like to turn off symmetry and edit some part of the chain, this is something that we can easily do. And at the same time, if we like to edit maybe some part of the eye, some part of the face, we can also do that. Now the head blend for the head is not the only place where we'll find blend. The body now comes with blend. And this means you've got different body types that you can mix together to create a unique body type for your character. So if you're just thinking about blending your character, creating some very interesting looking character, you can definitely proceed to blend this up and get something working for you. At the same time, there is a beautiful option within the skin section that now offers a more set of options that you can work with. So right here within the skin section, you can actually go in and play with the tone of how you like your character to be. Now outside this, you've also got the body texture index. We did talk about this one, but the body texture index wasn't really working when we did the beta demo. Crank this up and you can see that change. So you can see different types of body texture and there's a smooth blend with what we've got with the head as well. Now, on the other hand, we've got the face texture index and this is good. So we can actually go through different kinds of faces the one we want the one we want to keep and once you find something that actually works for you we'd like to get that one with a tiny bit of a hair right so once you find something that works for you you can actually go ahead and keep it the same thing can be said with different parts of the body as well so you can actually go in and add some freckles if you want you can make some redness in different parts of the body you can do some texture overrides and these are right here for makeups and stuff there are some very good stuff that you can do with this one so maybe for this one we can actually just give this guy a little bit of that dark looking eyes so we can have that and this is for the makeup stuff we also mentioned that the teeth section has some interesting updates which you can actually go ahead and play with now when it comes to hair we've seen a good number of hair in metahuman and right now there is even more if you're thinking of adding cornrows or maybe you like to add some twisted braids onto your model you can simply just double click and this is going to be applied on the model head at the same time you can actually go ahead and add some you know eyebrow depending on what you're trying to create and you can proceed to even add some more stuff say for example you're thinking about adding some eyelashes or maybe you like to add some beard some mustache stuff you can actually go in and put all these things together 
and create the kind of character that you want. There is also one interesting cool asset that is now part of this and that has to do with the clothing as this was something that was not possible before. So now you can throw in a clothing onto your model and this is something that you can now go in and edit over time. Now what they've actually mentioned with this is to any of the edits that you make on your model, the cloth automatically adjusts. It is nice to see all of those presentations and we're simply going to explore that right now. So to actually start exploring that, we need to go back to the body and we're going to load in some stuff. And we've got a properly here, so I'm just going to have that selected and let's expand that and see what we get. And once we let go, I want to see the cloth automatically adjust. And yes, it does. And this new parametric body system applies to every single model. So if you're thinking about making your adjustments to your model, maybe you like that clothes too. Simply adjust with the model. You can easily make these changes and the clothes will automatically adjust to it, giving you a high fidelity visual. And this is really impressive. I mean, the fact that you've got a very realistic model alongside a nice looking adaptable mesh that can allow you customize this model quickly and easily to get the result that you're going for is breathtaking. Interestingly, the folks at Epic also mentioned that they've created two plugins, one for Maya and Houdini and this has to do with shape key adjustments for your metahuman character and also hair creation for your metahuman character. Just in case you like to use any of these tools to actually fine tune your model, get the kind of quality that you're going for, you can actually go ahead and do all of that and they look pretty impressive. They've also mentioned that they've got plans to collaborate with other tool makers to bring a bit more integration to the tools that they currently have. And for your metahuman character, once you're done creating it, you can simply go over to the assembly section and rig the model. So by default, this you can rig by simply using the create joint only rig, or you can simply use the create full rig. And once you click on that, this is going to process and rig the model. And once you've got your model done, you can actually go ahead and press the playback button and see your model in full on animation. And this looks pretty cool. Now you can play with a lighting preset that comes with this as they've got a couple of nice lighting presets so you can explore that and you can just tweak these things, get the right result that you want. And once you're done, this would require you to download the missing textures. So to get that texture, you can simply go over to the download section right here. You can get a 2K, 4K, 8K, you know, whatever K that you want to get, you can actually go ahead and get it. So this is going to download, it downloads really, really quickly and then you'll be able to see the assembly button. So once you're done, you can hit assembly and this is going to assemble the character. And one thing I would suggest that you do once you have your character assembled, save your MetaHuman project. And if you'd like to use this in any other DCC tool, you can definitely export the head and the body of the skeletal mesh. On the other hand, the combined skeletal mesh doesn't necessarily work because if you actually export that and you bring that into your viewport, you notice that it's kind of incomplete. So how you get to work with this easily is to simply go over to the folder, find the name of the character, find the folder that relates to the character, and you find the blueprint right there. You can now drag that blueprint into your viewport, and it is that simple. Other things that you can do is to add a level sequence if you were thinking about animating this, and you can now drag and drop in the blueprints of your metahuman character right into the sequencer. And if you throw that in, automatically you'll notice you've got an animation layer, and you've got full control rigs. So you can now proceed to select any part of the model and rotate that, test it out. If you like to animate it, you can of course go ahead and animate this as well. Another interesting update that is also available with this is the fact that you can now create high fidelity real-time animation using your webcam and smartphone as the MetaHuman Animator now enables you to capture actors' performance on mono cameras and this happens in real-time right inside of Unreal Engine via Live Link and this can be done with certain Android devices, iPhones and head mount cameras. There's also the Enhanced Audio Driven Animation System that is also available with Unreal Engine and this just makes working with this a pretty impressive one. Now we're also gonna make a couple of videos just to showcase the tools for Maya and for Houdini. And for those who like to take a look at that, you can simply keep an eye on the channel. Something that the folks at Epic Games have also mentioned is MetaHuman is now available on Fab. And this now makes it super easy for creators to make MetaHuman related content and upload them on Fab. Interestingly, you can also access fab right here on unreal engine so the fab tool and also the quick sale tool has gotten a little bit of an enhancement so you can simply access them from here or chase whatever you want and download right into unreal engine so this is it for those who are thinking about exploring this possibly like to check it out 
Maybe you want to start building your characters with MetaHuman and use them in other DCC tools. The license idea is over and you can simply pick this up and work with it all thanks to the folks at Epic Games. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Links to all of these and some additional amazing resources are going to be in the description. So do well to check them out. And like we mentioned, we're currently working on the new features video for Unreal Engine. And if you'd like to see that, kindly stay subscribed and turn on notification. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.